it looks hopeful, I would say. There, there's lots of controversy about CRISPR, as you probably know, but um, the clinical, preclinical studies look very promising. In the MDX mouse, there's efficacy. In the canine uh, dystrophy, the dog model for, for the Duchenne patients, it looks favorable. And, um, and so I think you'll see movement in that direction. There hasn't been a clinical trial in muscular dystrophy using CRISPR. And there's been, I would say, uh, there's a lot of analogy here to the SMA world. What happened in SMA was that the first clinical trials that made a huge difference were in retinitis uh, pigmentosa um, or, and the RPE mutation in the eye. And the gene could be administered in the eye, which is a very localized place. So within that localized area, you could have gene correction. And then when we did the SMA trial, it's a totally different ball game. You're putting the, you're putting the, the virus now in the forearm or in the hand vein of, a, of an infant, and you're expecting that gene to then uh, travel through the bloodstream into the brain, into the spinal cord, and correct all the neurons there. Well, like magic, it, that's exactly what happened. And it gives confidence that you can go from a small localized area then to a systemic. And so the, it turns out that the RPE mutation in the eye was the first one that was FDA approved. The second form of gene therapy that was approved is the SMA uh, trial. The differences are huge in that the SMA trial now is systemic and it shows the potential application to what we're doing for Duchenne now. So, um, so that, so there, there are, you know, there are differences in these, um, in these pro approaches, but, um, the point I really want to make is that this is a stepwise process. You need to go one step at a time. And as you do that, um, and you show safety at each one of those sites that you extend, then, uh, and you have efficacy at each one, it gives more confidence at the, uh, to the gene therapy world that you can do things effectively and in a safe manner. Um, that really is exciting too, because currently um, we have uh, limitations for the uh, mutation specific exon skipping therapeutics. Uh, we have um, limitations for patients with positive antibody levels of, against the AAV viral vector for limiting them to getting um, the gene therapy trials. Um, of course, with the personalized medicine, that also depends on what the, the mode is, if it's um, viral uh, vector delivery or not. But certainly, um, it is exciting that one is able to look at each individual mutation and uh, utilize the new technology of gene editing uh, with the CRISPR-Cas9 technology and approach um, to uh, uh, correct the gene mutation and produce alternate functional protein. So it's cutting edge and um, it's just mind-boggling, but but certainly it is uh, something that uh, the community is very excited about too.